In today's video, I'm going to show you something that might be very different from what you've been taught to do in emergencies, in situations where your horse is starting to get out of control or is running. If you've ever been taught to do a one rein stop, in today's video, I'll explain how and why the one rein stop can actually be really dangerous. And I'm going to show you another technique that you can use in emergencies. I'm Callie, this is Noelle, and you're watching the weekly show here at CRK Training. And today, I'm gonna to teach you a technique called the pulley rein. In a one rein stop, one rein is pulled, and basically it's used to pull the horse's head to one side. And by pulling the head to the side, it's forcing them onto a circle and, and um, forcing them to slow down. But what happens in order to pull back on one rein is a lot of times the rider will end up leaning their weight really far off to one side, and if the horse is, again, going at any speed or on um, difficult terrain, if they get unbalanced enough, they can have that really bad stumble or the fall. So where a pulley rein is different is it helps both the uh, rider and the horse stay in balance, but it also uses that extra leverage of um, being stronger on just one rein. So what we do in a pulley rein is you want to start with the hands anchored on the neck. With on a runaway horse, this actually isn't a bad place too because it gives you a little bit of extra stability. Of course, I'm not leaning forward on the neck. I'm just using my hands to help anchor myself here. Now from here, with one um, hand with my knuckles pushing into the neck, then with the other hand, using my body to help create that leverage, I can lift up on just that other rein. So I'm essentially working this rein, think of it in like a pulley fashion, while this hand is being stabilized. So since this hand is stabilized, I was I'm working this rein, the horse's head and neck can stay straight. So I'm getting the leveraged effect if I need that really strong aid as an emergency technique, but I'm not pulling the horse's head to one side and potentially throwing them really off balance. So again, what this looks like is I'm gonna anchor one hand into the neck and I'm gonna bring the other hand up and I'm gonna use my body kind of hinging at my hips to help add a little bit of weight and extra leverage to that rein. So let me go ahead and um, uh, ride forward here, go ahead and do a stop and I'll show you what this looks like in movement. So let's take a look at how the pulley rein works when we've got forward movement. I'm gonna take my outside hand, I'm gonna stabilize against the neck, I'm gonna lift the inside rein and I'm gonna come back slightly with my body in order to put a little bit more weight on that rein. So let's see what this looks like if we come in a little bit hotter. Oop. So that time I came in with a little bit more speed so you could still see how the technique worked. Of course, one of the fundamentals in how it was able to be effective is that I did stay really centered and um, stable in my body. So notice how, again, I hinged back from my hips and I didn't brace forward in the stirrups. I actually let my knees go forward and down. And that body posture is a lot of what helped it to still be an effective technique, even coming in at a little more speed. So this, again, isn't something I'm gonna practice a lot with my horse, but I can practice the technique without using a lot of pressure to still have the, um, the mechanics of the movement down. And the pulley rein is a much safer way to slow your horse, to rate your horse when you're moving at speed than trying to do a one rein stop. Now I'd love to hear from you. When was the time that you had to use an emergency technique? Go ahead and leave a comment down below. And if you're watching this anywhere besides crktrainingblog.com, that's where the best conversation happens. I'll see you there.